Hello colleagues, today we'll establish communication with our clients using Zoha Mail application and within your team using Zoha Click for instant messaging. Let's sign up for Zoha One account. Filling out, filling out a short form with a few fields like uh, organization name, your email address, a password, your phone number, or number of your organization, and agree with terms of use of Zoha platform. And don't forget, click sign up button. That's it. Now you can sign in to Zoho One platform and get access to free trial and a set of applications for business. If you need to prolong your 30 day trial, just ask me and I'll help you to prolong this uh, period for two weeks. On this screen, we should choose a preset of applications to start with. I recommend to start with sales applications like CRM, document processing, instant messaging and mail client. So we are ready to start. Now you can see the main window of Zoha One account, where you can find everything you need to manage your personal applications, your personal data, or manage your organization, your employees, find any information you need to manage your company efficiently, like any data where uh, ZI search is global search within all applications of Zoha calendar events and the tasks assigned to you. Moreover, you can configure your settings and settings of your organization. Don't forget to check your inbox to verify your email address. And on the next step, we can take a short tour about administration uh, settings. This is directory and it's about setting up your users, add users, remove users, add applications, assign some rules, some roles to your users and applications, create a departments of your company, assign domains, set security permissions and see how everything is go with reports. During this step, we'll connect our corporate domain to Zoho account, particularly to the Zoho mail application for our emails to look professional and point to our company website, for example. For this purpose, you just need to copy text records from Zoho wizard to your domain name service provider. In my, in my case, it's uh, Cloudflare. You don't need to understand uh, all technical details about these records. Just copy and check how it works. If you do everything according to the wizard prompts, it will work out of the box without any problem. So let's check it. Click verify and you'll see the domain has been verified successfully. Now our domain is verified and we can switch it on uh, to use for our organization within Zoha platform. 
On the next step, we should add default the Hamail account. Now we can use our default email address and then we change it to our corporate domain address in the next step of this tutorial. Now we can create our corporate account for emailing using our verified domain. Let's set a name for our default user and our corporate domain from the list. At this stage, we'll try to use the Hamail by finding this application in the list on the left. And you can see that you need to add some more records MX records to allow the Hamail application use your domain to send and receive emails. Again, you don't need to understand in details how it works. Just follow the wizard Zoha pro proposes and copy these records to your domain name service provider. One by one. And, the, and, uh, and then we check if Zoha can see these records. In my case, it takes a few moments to just set and check it. It's really awesome how easily it works. Copy and paste exactly what Zoha suggests you to do. And that's it. Click verify. And go to the next step. To allow sending our emails safely, we should set a few more records for authorizing our domain for other email providers. Adding so called SPF record to your domain name service provider. Just copy, paste, save, and click verify to check if it works. And another record to add it's so called DKIM record for validation system that uses encryption to validate your emails. And again, just copy the data Zoha Wizard suggests. And I believe it works, it will work as smoothly as before for previous records. Save, verify, and that's it. And now I'm going to set up default email address. Because at the, at the beginning we have uh, the default email address, the one we used to sign up. You can see this email right now in the from field. To set up default, to change email, default email address, we can 
go to settings of Zoha Mail. You can change account name and you can add alias of email address. And then make this email address the main one that will be used by default. Everything is looks good. Now, when we compose our email, you can see that our corporate email is set by default. So it's time to invite the second user to our application. You can edit with directory menu, setting up default email for this user, first name, last name, password for first login. This password will be changed uh, during the first login of this customer, of this user, sorry. You can send these credentials to your email address and then resend these credentials to your first user. You can assign applications and roles of your, cust of your user in this application. On the first attempt, we cannot add applications, assign applications because notebook is set already by default. Now we can see that a few applications assigned to user and invitation sent. It's another profile of Google browser that shows our user interface and first login of our user. Now, user will, will be asked to change the default password. And that's it. Now the second user logged in to Zoha one application and he has the same tutorial on the first login so let's start using our applications for communication with our customers at Zoha Mail and with our teammates, it's a click. Zoha Mail, it's a very sophisticated application for emailing, for sending emails and receiving emails and more other functions. So we will dedicate a separate lesson for this application. Let's start using click. Now we have two users, zero user and administrator, and we'll Start with a short communication with short conversation between them. First of all, you can invite another user, say hello. And it's quite familiar, I believe, interface for every who use instant messaging uh, in his life. You can find click in the list of applications on the left bar that we discussed before. And now you have a few conversations. You can create separate channel for different subjects, for different departments, for different purposes. This may be um, channel for entire organization or for some group or for few custom for few users or, or external or external channel for your customers, vendors, etc., etc. You can check in uh, into account for your teammates to understand that you are online. 
or check out for coffee break or you can mark you as a busy person let's see how we can send some gif and uh, say hello and reply to the message with another gifs for example it it uh, this gifs makes conversation with still more emotional you can send any media i did not found any limitations during the using of zoho click for five years so i can recommend this browser or sorry this messaging tool because it's very fast for, to learn and very fast to use without any limitation you can set up some reminders you start video meeting audio conversation with your employees with teammates and external users if you need you can react on message with some and other other many other different functions very useful within working process on the next lesson we'll cover document processing tools of zoho it will be notebook, sheets, show, and writer.